struggling to make your dimensions in AutoCAD look clean and professional? In this video, I will share three simple yet powerful tips to elevate your dimensioning game and create more polished drawings. Without further ado, let's dive in. To take dimensions, what we usually do, we activate our dimension, we choose our first, then the second point, and then we decide the extension line's distance. To take dimension for this elevation, we have to repeat this process again and again. Instead of that, we can simply type DCO for Deem Continue. Hit enter, and now I only have to choose the points I want to take my dimensions from. And as you see, I can continuously choose the distance of my dimensions without any interruption much faster. Now, as you see, I have one extension line, one dimension line, all of them aligned with one simple command. The thing here I don't like, my extension lines have different lengths. This one, here I have a short extension line, and here I have a very long extension line for my dimension. From the point I choose to take dimension, till my dimension line. Solve this issue, we get to tip number two. To align our extension lines length, and make them equal, we have to type on our keyboard, Deem Style. And it opens the Dimension Style Manager. Hit Modify, go to Lines, and find in the right bottom corner, Fixed Length Extension Lines. Activate it, and type how long you want your extension lines to be. For my project, or this one, I choose 100 units, hit OK, set current, and close. And as you see, all my dimensions get the same length for the extension line. And all of them are aligned to each other on the same line. What I see right now, two things that I don't like. First of all, I have too many zeros after my comma, and secondly, this dimension here is not clear at all as they are overlapping. We can solve this with tip number three. Solve this issue, we again open the Deem Dimension Style Manager. So, Deem Style, Enter, then again Modify, and we go. And fit options. Here in fit options, we can decide if there is not enough space, which one should be suppressed, arrows, text, either text or arrows. I want usually my text to move out to be more readable and clear. And our second issue, we had too many zeros after too many units after our comma. Solve this, we hit primary units and in precision, we choose only one unit after our zero. Hit OK, set current, and close. And as you see, here where we had unclear dimensions where they were overlapping, we could solve it. And now we do also round off our numbers, our units after our comma. 